Horrid history is for mature audiences. Viewer discretion is advised. The photo you see is of two engineers, aged 19 and 21, while stuck on top of a wind turbine after a fire broke out. The two young men stood there waiting and hoping that help would arrive, but sadly, it didn't. The two young men looked at each other and embraced for one last hug. As the fire began to rage closer to them, one of them looked down, and even though the turbine stood 260 feet above the ground, he decided to jump while the other ran through the flames trying to escape. Sadly, on October 29th, 2013, both engineers died. The footage you're about to see is not of the tragic events. In fact, the only thing that we have is that photo that you just recently saw. In the afternoon of October 29th, 2013, at the Delta Winds Wind Farm in the Netherlands, a fire broke out inside the engine room. A crew of four were performing regular maintenance. Two of the workers who were older and more experienced managed to escape by jumping through the flames, reaching the staircase just before it became engulfed. Unfortunately, the other two were trapped on the top, waiting for rescue. According to the Netherlands Times, because of the height, the fire department initially had trouble putting out the fire in the engine room. The fire is believed to have been caused by a short fuse and was not extinguished until that evening. These turbines are built with what is known as a constant rate descender which is essentially a cord workers can attach themselves to in the event of an emergency and use to repel down the turbine. Unfortunately, the repelling equipment was located on the opposite side and the two young men were blocked from getting to it. As seen in the picture, the two young men embraced in one final hug. One jumped off the turbine rather than burn to death. His body was immediately discovered in the field beneath the machine. The second one chose to remain, trying to make a final attempt to escape by walking through the flames and reaching the staircase. Sadly, his body was discovered inside the turbine by firefighters later that evening. After an investigation, the company was not held criminally responsible for this. In the investigation into the fire, the public prosecutor did not identify any errors that could penalize the company for which the two engineers worked. Since the incident, many have fought for even better safety precautions so that others will not meet the same horrific fate as the two young men who died in this horrific tragedy. Thank you for watching. Do us a favor, leave a like, a comment, and if you're new here, subscribe. It's a free thing you can do that helps out the channel. Until next time, this is Horrid History.